Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be making the next part in our wrench assembly. So click on the top plane and start a sketch. And what you want to do is draw a circle on that origin point and right below it draw another circle and draw a line connecting those to the center point of both circle and make it a construction line and let's just make sure the circles are a little bit small so the next thing we want to do is add a dimension to this which it is going to be 1.658 and the next thing we want to do is draw a line that is kind of angled that way make this circle smaller so make this line and that circle tangent to each other and make this line and that circle also tangent to each other and it's okay that, that is small I'm just going to drag it up a little bit so you can see it and I can extend that so just so the idea is just draw a line angled line that is tangent to this circle and also tangent to that circle and I'll trim it trim uh, I'm going to backspace on that and the reason why when I pressed trim my entire circle got deleted is because this last line is not touching that circle so make sure the line is touching the circle I'm just going to extend it to trim to touch the circle and when I trim it now you'll see it should only trim that and that was the problem with that and I select the same thing over here and now we can start adding our dimension the radius for this arc is going to be 0.653 and the radius for this is going to be 0 0.05 and we need to add our angle to this line the angle for this line is 7 and the angle for this line is 35 so what we want to do next is mirror this line over and we'll select the mirror tool select this line and that line mirror about this line and click OK and we'll just trim it so now our sketch is fully defined but let's draw one more circle two more circles over here just to eliminate one step so make this circle point five six zero and make this circle below 0 0.32 0 0.32 yes and let's add a dimension to it and the dimension is going to be 0 0.6 so you have something like that now we are going to extrude the feature on about the mid plane and you want to extrude it 0 0.541 so you have something like that and click OK so we are almost done so what not almost done but that's the first step then let's add a fillet to this edge not not the top face you want to add a fillet to let's do this edge first this edge and that edge and the fillet is going to be 0.1 and click OK and we want to add another fillet to this top face not top face top edge and the bottom edge and the fillet for that will be let me refer to my note what is that fillet 0 0.02 uh, 0 0.02 and click OK so you have something like that and now make sure you click the right plane so it's something like that and add a sketch and now draw a line somewhere in here just going that way make sure that this point is horizontal to the origin point and make sure that line is horizontal and just extend it out and now just draw the shape draw a shape going down down and up like that and just connecting it to that point and make sure this is vertical 
So just draw a shape like this and we'll make this point and that point horizontal to each other and make drag this down so this line is on is on that edge or you can also click the line click the edge and make it collinear to each other and I'm going to drag the line somewhere over there just to constrain it you can constrain it with a dimension it doesn't really matter but just make sure it's the line is constrained somewhere in there and make sure it is not sticking out oh well yeah make sure the line is not sticking out of this circle we just drew so once you have that and we can add our dimension the dimension from here to here will be 1.7 1.756 and the angle of this two line is 5 and this angle and from that line to that line is 17 and the dimension for this line is 0.5 and the overall dimension from there to the center point is going to be 2.756 so you should have something like this when you are done so let me drag that down so you should have something like this okay so now we are just going to revolve that part and click OK and that is what it looks like so now let's add a fillet to this two edge and the fillet size is going to be 0.2 and we are going to add another fillet to this edge and that edge and the fillet size is going to be point, not point 0.1 just one so you have something like that and click OK and now let's select the top face of this sketch and make sure that you are on the top face so your top should be in the upper le left hand corner or you can click here and make sure you select the top view so you are on the top face like that and now I'm going to select that top face and draw a sketch on it make sure the sketch is on the same center point as the origin the center point is on the origin point and the center point is on the second circle so two circle the center point is on this circle so if you hover over this it should show the center point and you can draw your circle on it and you trim those two circles so you have something like that and we're going to add the dimension to it which this is 0.52 and the second one is 0.45 and we are going to extrude not extrude extrude cut extrude cut it um, 0 0.08 yes 0 0.08 and click OK so now we are going to select this face and draw a sketch so the same thing as the um, previous sketch we just did draw a circle over here and when you hover over here you see how that center point is hot is highlighting click it and draw your second circle and I'm going to zoom in trim those two circles and add a dimension which is this dimension for that is 0.468 and the dimension for the second one is um, let me reference my note 0.3 and you have something like that and what we are going to do now is extrude cut and the dimension is going to be point the distance is point, point 0.39 and click OK and we have one more to do and we are done with this part and I'm going to click on this face and draw a sketch and draw um, draw a line draw a line coming this way make sure your line is horizontal and draw another line coming up from the origin point and click this point and click that 
line and make sure it's on the mid plane of that line. So you have something like that. Make those two line construction line and let's add a dimension to them. That line is um, 0.433 and the distance for this line is 0.664 and let's draw a circle on those the end point of those two of that line two circles and make sure these circles are equal to each other and the dimension for this circle is um, 0.125 so you should have something like that and we are going to extrude cut through all and click OK and that is it we are done with this part um, let me change the image quality of this part so it's not too rough and yeah that's what it looks like and now we can just add an appearance and let's go with this polish still for now click OK and we are done Make sure you save it as any file name you choose to. And thank you. I will see you in the next video. Bye.